Hello, Squawks Ed here with my first instructional video on the KA-50 attack helicopter, or the Black Shark as it's called. This is a fantastic attack, Russian attack helicopter that once you master um, really is, um, is, is a joy to fly, uh, particularly in multiplayer I find. The reason I'm doing the video is I've had this module for quite some time and I've been recently asked by a few people about how the trimming system works and how to get it flying um, the way I tend to fly it. So hopefully for those of you who are struggling with the trimmer system um, and getting the black shark to do exactly what you want it to do, perhaps you've flown the Huey and you're used to raw inputs, or hopefully this will give those of you who are looking for a more aggressive, raw um, input to the K50, um, this will help you. Right, so let's get started. So bottom left here I have um, on this chart here I've got the position of my cyclic you can see here I'm moving around I've got my collective and my rudder pedals so we'll be keeping an eye on those as we um, demonstrate the different trimming systems of the aircraft okay so this is a hot started K50 we're not going to go through the startup today this is all just about maneuvering it and the, K, the K50's trimmer system so what we're interested in here are these buttons here. Now I've got that one lit up but normally when you hot start you don't have the flight director on and we'll talk about that in a second. What we need to know is what the vanilla sort of startup um, leaves us with uh, before we change anything and normally you start off with these three buttons lit and you don't ever really want to take these off and I'll tell you why in a bit or I'll certainly demonstrate why. So pitch hold will do exactly that and will hold the pitch of the aircraft after once you trim it. And this is the important thing to remember. You trim the aircraft and this will hold the pitch you've just trimmed. Same with the bank angle and also the heading. So what this is good for is if you've got a landmark, let's say a um, lake that you're flying towards cross country, you point your attack helicopter at the lake you trim it to, as you face it and it will hold the pitch, it'll hold the bank and it'll hold the heading. So that's re this mode is really good for um, cross countries and uh, you know maneuvering across the map. What this mode is for is your more aggressive maneuvers and your more quick sort of trimming, fine trimming, um, particularly if you're moving down the streets uh, between buildings or you're prosecuting targets in airfield and you want to pull some aggressive maneuvers, this having flight director and autopilot mode on is where it's going to make the difference. And this is what people, a lot of people don't get, is having this button on does not mean autopilot is directing you to your the next waypoint um, or uh, you know waypoint one or two or what have you it does not do that that's not what this button does this button basically changes the mode of trimmer and it also puts flight director markings on your HUD which you can see up here now these lines either side of the HUD, these two lines, they delineate your last position of trim. And it's really useful when you're fine trimming um, aggressive maneuvers um, or movements um, low down to the ground and you want that extra level of control so you don't smash into a tree or something. So flight director off, you haven't got those. Flight director on, that's the flight director there, it's telling you your last position of trim. Right now, to demonstrate the different trimming modes with this button on and off, uh, we have to take off. So we'll do that now. We'll take. We'll have this mode off first, which is the vanilla mode when you start. So here we go. Let's try not to crash on taking off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to raise the collective whilst putting an input pitch. Let's get off the ground. Here we go. And while we do that, we'll probably get a bit of rudder input. We'll put the gear up. Now, in terms of trimming, what we want to do, if we're going to um, trim in this mode, and remember this mode is really used for longer distances, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the trimmer switch, we're going to point the nose where we want it, and then we're going to let go. And what should happen, as has happened there, is the helicopter will hold the pitch, the bank angle, and the heading. 
which is really great. So if you if I want to go to a specific point, uh, let's say over by the coast, I'm going to point the helo to where I want to go, I'm going to hold the trimmer, then let go, and there we go. Well, that's all good and well, but what happens if I'm trying to pull aggressive maneuvers around the airfield, I'm trying to fly between buildings or prosecute targets at close quarters? Well, you don't really want to be holding down that trimmer switch all the time, constantly trying to battle with the trim, and that's what people do, and that's where people it, it goes wrong for quite a few people. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch this flight director mode on, and seriously, this will change everything for you. Now, the way this trimmer system works, once you switch that on, is it relies on you doing a single switch of the trimmer, a single click, so you press the trimmer button, and it and then let go and at the same time you return all your inputs to neutral so that's your cyclic to the middle that's your rudder pedals to the middle if you've set rudder trimmer and that's um that we won't worry about the collective because that's uh, for another time but so here we go i press it once and i've returned all my inputs to the middle and look it holds it which is re which is much better and much more effective than the other form of trim because you're not having to hold a button down you're just clicking it once and you're fine tuning and if you look on the HUD, you can see those two lines, they adjust to when I last press the trimmer button. They tell me my last position of trim, which is really good for those low maneuvers and aggressive maneuvers. And actually, when you're doing an aggressive maneuver, you can actually trim at the midpoint of that and hold that maneuver. And I'll give an example again. So here we go. Let's go up. Let's pull a nice aggressive maneuver to the right. So as I pull this maneuver, I'm going to click the trim, I'm going to return all my inputs to neutral, and look, it's carrying on. I'm not doing any input on the cyclic or the rudder. Well, I am now because I'll probably go towards the trees, but it held that maneuver for me. And once you get your head around a quick click of the trimmer button and returning your inputs to neutral, you will start to see you can do much more aggressive maneuvers and you can get a lot more fine control of the black shark. So. What I'm trying to say basically is turn that flight director on and start playing around with it um, at, at the airfield that you start at um, and try and pull some aggressive maneuvers and keep trimming and once you get it you'll be able to um, operate it much more efficiently um, as I say in that close quarter um, arena. So let's give a bit of demonstration on bank angle as well so you can see look at those two lines um, either side of the HUD I'm gonna click the trimmer switch they'll reset to where I've just trimmed if I trim if I do a bank I hit the trimmer switch return my inputs to neutral and look it holds it I'll turn the other way that's where I want it I'll click it once let go return the inputs to neutral and it'll hold it again the other way much better way of trimming um, in close quarters, um, particularly if you're trying to avoid trees or going through buildings, etc. So hopefully this video gives you an idea or a better understanding of how that trimmer system works. Uh, one thing I will mention, um, just as a side point, is to this autopilot mode. What the autopilot mode doesn't do is send you to the next waypoint. That is in fact, if you turn this on, it will actually disengage autopilot pilot mode. It will disengage root mode. In the K50 Black Shark, it's the root mode that's the autopilot to the next waypoint, which is this button here. Down there, flicking that forward, having this switched off will take you to your next waypoint. So all your local stuff, all your flying around airfields, all your aggressive tactics, aggressive maneuvers like you would in the Huey, you want this button on. Anyway, I hope this uh, video has helped in some way, and if you've got any comments for me, please leave them below. There'll be other videos following up, certainly on the K50, and I'm very much looking forward to the Apache release um, shortly. I think it's uh, end of January 2022 currently. But uh, any questions, pop them below, and hopefully um, catch you in multiplayer sometime soon. Bye-bye.